Now I prefer to use organic sugarcane mulch. I'll just give you a look. That's the stuff there, organic sugarcane mulch works very well. It's always a clean product, never an issue. No seeds, no debris. Uh, and as you can see, very coarse, but also fine as well. So, does a good job in retaining the moisture, but also letting the air in. I love the stuff. Works excellent. There's a bare veggie patch for you. You can see how much stuff is coming through my compost. These are uh, tomatoes. I don't want them. I want them to go. This is what I did plant. We've got radishes here and cucumbers. Also a Jerusalem artichoke. But they're getting choked up. So to avoid that is what I've done. Just give you a look how thick that is. I'd say that's about two inches, five centimetres. Does a good job of keeping out the weeds, retaining the moisture, and of course allowing the oxygen for the microbes. Now the benefit of this is, it'll actually prevent or even slow down the weeds. So I've left a few in here that I've overlooked. So they come off all that easily. I'll give you a look at how I prepare for the sugarcane mulch. So before I put down a layer of the mulch, I like to fertilize the garden bed. I use organic fertilizer. Now this is purchased from my local nursery. It's meant to be lawn fertilizer, but it's actually rooster poo. You can use chicken manure, lamb manure, even horse manure if you like. Just anything that's been dried and aged and isn't fresh and wet because the fresh stuff will burn your plants and kill them. So I've gone ahead and sprinkled some manure on my garden bed and now I'm laying down a layer of sugarcane mulch. I like to put down five centimeters or at least two inches of mulch. This will ensure the longevity of the mulch itself and prevent weeds for the long run. So once I've laid it out by hand, I then like to tease it into place using this nifty little tool I picked up from the kids section at the nursery. Once you've uh, laid out the mulch, hose it down. I'm using my rainwater tank. Hosing down will benefit the mulch in settling in place. It'll stop it from blowing away in winds and it also gives the plants a bit of a, a bit of a boost as well. This only took five minutes. So that's the benefits of using mulch in your garden. It'd be fair to say that's a before and that's an after. I know what I'd go for. Okay, that's it for today. Organic mulch, benefits of and how to save water. Till the next video, thanks very much and may your trees be full.